In this video, I'm going to show you how to program a second key in your new gen Saab 93. That's 2003 to 2012. The key, pun intended, is to purchase a quality key fob. It must be 433 megahertz. While the OEM fobs are a bit pricey, I can almost guarantee there will be trouble free to program. How we're going to program an additional key is via Tech2. If you're not familiar what a Tech2 scanner is, I suggest using the cards in the upper right hand portion of the video as well as the links in the description to familiarize yourself what the Tech2 scanner is, what it's capable of, and how to hook it up to even get to this point to make this adjustment. <laughs> For Tech2 navigation, start by selecting F0 Diagnostics. Select what model year Saab you're working on. In my case, it's a 2008. And of course, select what model you have, mine being a 93. Go ahead and select F4 for all. Go to the bottom again, but in this case, select F7 for add slash remove. On this next screen, they make it very simple for you, but go ahead and select F2 for adding a key. Now this next part is the most imperative to this. You have to have security access before adding an additional key to your SOB, whether that be TIS 2000 or Global TIS, you must get security access before programming an additional key. This process is extremely straightforward, but to begin, insert into the ignition a already pre-programmed key that is known working to the vehicle. Now remove that pre-programmed key only to reinsert it back into the ignition. The point of that procedure was to confirm that we have a known working key linked to the vehicle. At this point, we're good to remove the already working key and insert the brand new one needing programmed. My camera did a little weird autofocus here, but I promise you did not miss any steps. At this point, if you're programming just one new key, select no. Remove the new key, and then to finalize the programming, place that same new key right back into the ignition. So that is all it takes to program a brand new key in your new gen Saab 93. So if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing and have any questions, comments, concerns, drop a comment down below. That being said, I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you friends next time.